yeah, we're going to go through it together. You can watch it step by step, and then hopefully you'll be able to download the mods and uh, play with some of these awesome mod showcases we'll keep showing up. And a bit of a sneaky peek behind it, but next mod show. Greetings, 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 I would say. Good, I hope, right. Something different today, as you can see, because I'm at the bottom of the stairs, and normally I'm at the top of the stairs, and, and obviously by the thumbnail. So what I do is, I get a lot of messages just like this saying, Cheesecake, how do I download this mod? Where do I get the mod from? How do I do it? How do I get it into my game? Now, I know quite a few of you know, you know what I mean? I, and some of us don't know. I didn't know. And I, when I first started making these videos, I had to go on YouTube. And I looked around for a few uh, how to how to download and install mods. And some of them were good. Don't get me wrong, because here I am. But some of them were bad. So I've decided, uh, and thanks to you lot for asking, <laughs> I'm going to try to make one and show you how to download the mod, Forge, Optifine, if you've not got the best computer in the world. Even if you've got a good computer sponsor, so Optifine's worth it. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through it together. You can watch it step by step, and then hopefully you'll be able to download the mods and uh, play with some of these awesome mod showcases I keep showing you. And a bit of a sneaky peek behind it, but next mod showcase, you know what I mean? It's called Banana Something. <laughs> you'll see, right, so I'm going to live across into my um, main desktop screen, and I'll catch you over there. See you in a second. Right, so where we are on my uh, desktop. Quite, quite boring, to be honest with you, with all, all the bits and bobs uh, that I've got in here. Right, so... Let's go through it slowly. The first thing you need to do is you need to know where your Minecraft folder is. Now, I know some of you all know where it is. And if you do, why are you watching this video? <laughs> but if not, what you need to do is, and I only know it for Windows, by the way. All right, you need to go down to the bottom corner down here. Right click. You see where it says run? Okay, you right click on run. And in here, you're going to type percent app data percent. Okay, then you're going to click okay. Right, boom. And Minecraft will be in here. Okay, this is where your main Minecraft folder is. If I click on it now, it shows where you put all your mods and everything else. Now, what I do to make it easy, you don't have to do it. What I do to make it easy, I right-click on it and I create a shortcut. Okay, the shortcut will appear down here. Okay, well, in fact, I'll do it now. Create a shortcut. Okay, so if we go down here somewhere, there's the Minecraft shortcut. What I did is then, I go down here and I drag that out and put it onto my desktop. Okay, let me just delete that. So you, you, you right-clicked on it. You've, right, let's go back. Let's go back here. Let's go up here. So you find your Minecraft folder. This is to make life easy for yourself instead of having to type in percent update all the time. You go on here, you right click, you create a shortcut. You obviously look down here for it. It'll be here. You just drag it out onto your desktop. I'll just get rid of that now because I like things nice and tidy. Okay, once you drag it out onto your desktop, here's a folder here. Okay, it says Minecraft shortcuts on it. What this does is makes life so much easier. This is how I do it. It makes life so much easier instead of going down there every time you get a mod and everything else. Now, you can just click on here like this, straight in, straight into your folder. Okay, now, if you've never ever put mods on before, you're not going to have a mods folder in yours. Yours will just be the basics, but there will be no mods folder here. Okay, if you want to play with mods, and you want to install mods on Minecraft, what you have to do is, you have to go to this page here. It's the uh, Forge page, okay? Minecraftforge.net. All right, depending what, what what version you're playing on. So if you're playing on 1.2, 1.2, uh, 1.12.2, you download 1.12.2. If you play it on 1.10, you download 1.10. Now, what I will say is, you have to have played it normally in Minecraft. Okay, you're not going to play it full world, but what you got to do is, say, um, say, say let's just use 1.12.2, just for finger. What I'll do is, i load Minecraft up, put 1.12.2, click on it, load it all up, read it where it says single player, multiplayer. It's loaded it all into its game then. Then you can shut it down, and you come down here, and what you do is you choose. So we're, we're doing 1.12.2 um, mod showcases. So that's just one I want. Now it says the latest or recommended. Oh, nine out of ten times, download the recommended. Okay. Oh, well, the latest, if, if it doesn't work and you've got issues, you can download it. But the recommended one is always the most stable one. Okay. And all you simply do is choose which one of these. Click on it, like I'm going to show you now. So just click on it. This screen will come up. Don't do anything on this screen. What you're looking for is this top corner. This is where post people make mistakes. Up here in this top corner, because sometimes it comes up saying, oh, click here to download it. You're up here. When that says, when that time runs out, it's only five seconds. You go to skip like that. Okay. And boom, baby, it'll start downloading it straight away for you. Then obviously you're going to press keep and then I'll keep it. You know, just so, uh, uh, eventually. All right. That'll keep it and that'll put it in your downloads folder. Okay. So that, that's one of the first things you have to do. So you need to go onto the old forge. Decide what you're playing. You can click down here. You can see them here. You've got 1.10. So you've got 1.10.2. All the way all the way back down to the, to the beginning of time if you wanted to. Right. So now we've got that downloaded. Obviously, we've run Minecraft for the first time. 1.12.2 or 1.10 if you're going back to 1.10. You've run that for the first time and you've shut it down. Then you'll go to your downloads folder. Wherever your downloads folder is. Mine, it's here. Okay. Right. You'll see the um, Forge installer here. And all you'll simply do is 
double click on it like so this is how easy it is and it comes up with this okay now this knows where your minecraft is and all you're going to simply press is okay all right once you press okay it'll go for a load of things and put boom this has been installed into your minecraft okay let me just do that so that will say it's been installed to minecraft then what you will do is you'll go to your minecraft like so you'll load it up now you won't have this here you will have something that says probably something like uh Oh, let's see. I've just got on 1.2 here. I haven't. But say we're playing um, 1.2. Okay. It is, pretend this is 1.12.2. Uh, okay. What you need to do is you need to go into the launch options here. You need to make a new one. So you click on add new. Okay. Then it says the latest version. Now up here, you'll click on this. And if you scroll down to the bottom, all your forge, obviously I've got loads of forge. The forge you just downloaded will be there. So, you know, I mean, obviously the newest one I've got at the moment is 2775. You click on that, that's in there, okay. You can change these things around if you want to. That's that I do change this, but that, that's going into another video and I won't waste your time with that. Okay, then you'll press save. Alright, so once you press save, when you go back onto your main page, you'll come onto here, you'll look down and it'll say, like mine says Minecraft Forge there, and it'll say Forge, what what the version is, 1.12.2, and then 2775. You click on that, you'll press play, and it'll load it all up. It'll go all the way through it all, load your screen up. All your screen will come up. You come to where it says uh, single player, multiplayer. You know your options, everything else. That means that you've loaded Forge up into your Minecraft. Okay, shut it down. Go into your Minecraft folder now, and then you'll have a folder called Mods here. Okay, this won't be there until you install Forge. All right. Once you've got your Mods folder, you click in. It'll be empty. I obviously got some stuff in there. A little sneaky peek there. The next uh, mod showcase. Right. Then what you want to do is you want to decide what. Um, what mod you want to install, okay? So you think, Seth, oh, what, what do I want? What do I want? You know, there's loads of places you go. Oh, I go to the same place every time, but there's different places. So you, so you, you clicked on this awesome YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, this one here, right? You've just watched his amazing mod showcase. So we'll just, uh, let's, let's watch the latest one at the moment. This one here, okay? So you've clicked on it. You know what I mean? You've, we've gone through the adverts and everything else. You've watched it. You think, yeah. That, that's the one I want. That, that's that, that's just what I want, that is. That's what I want in my world. That's what I'm going to like. You've clicked the like button, because if you're not, you type. <laughs> okay. And then what you do is you scroll down underneath the video, like so. It says here, show more. Okay. This is what people are saying. I can't find it in the, uh, in the description. This is the description here. Quick little description of what the mod is and everything else. I'll keep it as brief as possible, because to be honest with you, I'll never read it. I'll just watch the videos. If it looks good, I'm, I'm playing with it. Right. Click here, show more. Right, then you go through all this. So this is just my channel saying I do, I've do. i done 1.12, 1.11, 1.10, so on, so on. If you go all the way down to the bottom, it says mod download here. Okay, you click on this link here, and this link's always here, always here. Now, if for some reason, <laughs> I'm saying it's always here, for some reason it's not, and I've just put the description in, say, like, um, y you know, uh, stone tools, if it's not on the Curs page, I don't, I don't link it to any other page. I just link all my mod showcase so you go back to Curse because that's where most of the mod modders put their uh, mods on there, should I say. Right, you just have to type it in and look for yourself. People say 9 Minecraft is he's got viruses. I've downloaded quite a few mods from 9 Minecraft, which is another place you can get mods from. I I've never had no problems. I'm not saying that it it's clean. I'm just saying I've never had no problems. But anyway, you've gone down here. You thought, yes, that's an awesome thing. Obviously, that's it. That's an awesome mod showcase. Okay, where is it? I know Cheesecake's pointing here for me because it's as good as gold. You've clicked the like button. <laughs> You've subscribed, hopefully. You've gone all the way down here. you found to where it says mod download here. You've clicked on it. Now, sometimes you need two things. I'll also put another thing. It'll be written in white here. It'll say, um, need this too. So you have to download too. So what you do is you click on this. Boom, like this. This is going to take you to the page exactly where the mod is. All right, so you can see th this is the last one I've just done. Okay, you see, you can, you can read through it, have a look think well this is explained much better than cheesecake did he did a crap job anyway so you can click through it all look through it all yeah 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 yeah. i like it yeah i still want to download it you go to files you come up here now this is the newest version obviously up here because you can tell by the date you're going to click on this the download file thing all right so because this is the newest version this is the version you want 1.12.2 this is only made for 1.12.2 at the moment so i go click like that it comes straight down press keep go straight into your downloads folder Okay, so once you've got that downloaded, so you've, if we go back, if we go like right, so, go back here. So we've gone on to here, we've, we've watched what we wanted, whether it's from me or somebody else. You've clicked, if it's me, you've clicked the like button. Oh God, I'm saying that a lot today. You've scrolled down where it says show more. You've scrolled all the way down. You've found where it says mod download here. You've clicked on it, you've downloaded it. 
Okay, right, so once that's downloaded, let's just uh, get that off. Once that's downloaded, you're going to go to your downloads folder, wherever it may be. Sometimes it could be pinned to start down here. I'll just drag this little shortcut out here. Downloads. Okay, and then you find it. Here it is here. Okay, so this is the mod we just downloaded. This is the one we want. We've also, we've already installed Forge. So what we're going to do is, just drag that over here. Okay, you go to where you put your shortcut on your desktop. Because this is instead of now, you'd have to go percent app data Minecraft me. Now I'll just go double click on that. Boom, this baby's up. Double click on mods. Okay. Obviously, you won't have their mods in yours. But I've got them in mine. You go like so. So you find your mod. You simply drag it and put it straight into your mods folder. So if I wanted this, I'd just drag it across here. Drop it in here. And that's it. Okay. Now, when I started on the game. Okay. When I start up the game, this mod will be installed. So if I clicked on it now. Boom, boom, boom. Minecraft to load up. This mod would be installed for me. And then you just create a new world. Jump in. And away you go. Okay. Let's just delete that. So... We don't interfere. Now, you can also download and install Optifine. Now, there's two ways of doing Optifine, okay? There's, you can download it, click it, and it gives you an installer, and it install it for you. Or you can pull it, once you've got Forge downloaded, into your Forge folder, which is why I like to do it. Okay, so, Optifine. Optifine here. Now, this is this is not just for bad computers. It's for, you know I mean? A lot of people use Optifine. It just makes your computer run better. It just works better. It gives you more options. I'll show you when we load Minecraft up. You go on to here, okay, the Optifine page. Go to Downloads. It's quite simple, this is. Obviously, if you were playing 1.3.2 or 1.3.1 or whatever, you look for which one you you download. You're going to click on it. So, say we're on 1.12.2 at the moment. I go here, I click. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the newest one. Yeah, click on that. This will happen. It comes up like this. Okay, get a few seconds. Don't worry about that. Then you click this here. Okay, get a few seconds for my computer to finally catch up. Which it will do. Boom. And she should be downloaded. Oh, hang on. If we look at the bottom of the page. There she is here. Let's discard that one. Because they have a full page up. You're going to press keep for Optifine. Okay. So I've downloaded Optifine now. I've downloaded Forge. You have to go Forge first. Then Optifine. Unless you're not putting any mods on. Then you can just use Optifine. Okay. Once Optifine's downloaded. Why is it taking so long today? I do not know. Why is it pretty, normally pretty fast? Okay. You're going to go back to your downloads folder. Because that's where you just downloaded it to. Okay, Optifine's in here. All right, so you're going to double click on the Optifine. Now, if you didn't have Forge installed, okay, you can just double click on this. As long as you've ran 1.12.2 or 1.13, you click install, and it'll install Optifine straight to it. Then you'll have a an option of having Optifine instead of having Forge, if you know what I mean. I, I will, I'll, I'll show you in a second what it means, but what you do is you click install. I don't, right, because what I do is I like to... Same again. Go to my Minecraft folder. My shortcut one. Okay. Obviously, I've already got Forge. I do that. And then I drag Optifine in here. Is it? In fact, is that a new version then? Optifine. E2. E1. Yeah. Let me just delete that. So, I'll delete that. So, we drag Optifine from there into here. Okay. This is my mods folder, by the way, you're looking at. So, you've, you've clicked on your shortcut. You've gone to mods and you put Optifine in there. Like I say... If you've not got Forge and you just want Optifine and you're having no mods, you can just click on it and then install it automatically. Right, so we've got Optifine in there in our mods folder. Boom, boom, boom. We've got our, our new mod in there. Obviously, I've got Banana Tools because that's the one I'm doing. But you'd have whatever you've downloaded. Yeah, yeah, everything's looking good. We've done that, we've done that. You click on your Minecraft, like so. Now, down here, if you've not... I don't think I've got an... Oh, yeah, yeah, I've got 13 there, right? See that one there? Now, that's just a normal Optifine. That, you'll have that in your what's name. So what you do is, you'll come up here again, you go to launch options, you'll press add new, and you click on this, like we did with the forge, you look down here, and somewhere it'll say, let's see that, Optifine. You'll click on that, you'll press save, and that'll load 1.13.2 Optifine straight into your game. So your Minecraft will load up, you'll have Optifine. Okay, that's if you use the Optifine installer. Okay, we've chucked it straight into our, uh, straight into our mods folder, which is the other way you can do it. Let's just go back here. Which is the other way you can do it. So we just go straight to where we've gone. Where it says 1.12.2 Forge. The latest version. We press play on this. We've already dragged the Optifine in. We've already dragged our mod in there. That we want to play with. All we've got to do now is wait for the uh, Minecraft to load up. And I'll show you in a second. So we'll, we'll get that loaded up and I'll be back. Right. Here we are. Minecraft's all loaded up. Now. If you go to mods. On this side here, it'll show you what mods you've got installed. Obviously, it's saying we've got Forge installed, Banana Tools installed. I've got 
just enough items. That's how I can show you all the crafting recipes, not because I'm a ge genius. And Optifine's in there as well. Okay, now, it's done like that. So if we go to um, options, now when you go in here, if you've got Optifine installed, okay, you can go to video settings. Now, if you've not got Optifine installed, you're not going to have all these different kind of options you can do. When you click on details, you, you can't do all this. Okay, Optifine's giving you the chance to do all this so you can take some stuff off. Like I take it off, I have trees on fast and not on a default or smart so they look a higher quality. Okay, that, that's another video for another day. I'm, I'm not going to bother showing that. But now we've got Optifine installed now, thing, and now you go to your, your, your player world. You've got your, we've downloaded Forge. Okay, we've installed Forge. We've downloaded a mod. We've dragged that into a mods folder. We've downloaded Optifine because we want it to run a little bit better. We've dragged that into a mods folder. Okay. Now we're going to go on here. You'll, you'll create a new world. Obviously, I jump into the thing. But if you want to create a new world, create a new world. Whatever you want to do. Obviously, if you want to cheat, you can survival. You're going to create a new world. Obviously, you're going to let the world load up like normal. When you get into your new world, your new mod. or I mean, You don't have to have one mod. You can have 10, 15, 100, 200 mods in there. It, it depends how beefy your computer is and how good your computer is. Okay. Eventually. <laughs> Obviously. Mine's not the beefiest. Probably put some music on in a minute while I wait for this to load up. It'll be there in a second. Any minute now. Here we go. Here we go. Can't wait, can't wait. There we are. Boom, baby. Rip. And that is all there is to it. I know it sounds complicated. But like I said, first thing you need to do, think to yourself, what do I want to do? I'm going to, I want to say 1.12.2 mod, right? So you're going to go to your Minecraft folder. You're going to go to Minecraft. You're going to load up 1.12.2. Click on it, let it load all the way to the loading screen where it says single, multiplayer, and so on. Okay, that's loaded a game into your folder. Then you're going to back off. Okay, come back out. You're going to go to the forge, which I showed you. Okay, you're going to choose the version of forge you want for your version that you're playing on. So 1.12.2. Click on the recommended. Wait five seconds in the top right hand corner. You can go back over the video and have a look at this. In the top right hand corner. Once it's down, okay, click on it. It'll come up. Do you want to install this? Yes, click it, double click on it, it'll install it straight into your 1.12.2. Okay, then you're going to go into your Minecraft game again. You're going to load it up and you're going to look. Do you know where we said launch options? We're going to look for where it says Mine, uh, Forge 1.12.2, whatever version it is. You're going to click on that, press save. Okay, load the game up. Once you've loaded the game up, it comes up to single player, multiplayer. It's loaded Forge in, shut it down again. When you go back into your Minecraft folder, you'll have a little folder there called Mods. Then you're away. Then you're laughing. Then you can have all these cool mods and everything else. Like I said, you can go back over the video. Because uh, I'm not the world's best explaining things. But that's how I do it. That's how I find it easier. Drag yourself a little uh, a shortcut version out. Because it saves you going percent up, data percent all the time. To try to get your Minecraft folder. Away you go. Everything else. Everything's good in the world. And I, I, hope, that, I hope that cleared it up. It's probably confused some of you. <laughs> but I hope that's cleared it up for you. It's the best I could do to be honest with you all. You take care. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, like not said enough, drop a like down. If not, you know, or if you think I've missed something out, leave in the comments so you can help somebody else. Preferably me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Me, I'm going back to my uh, little mod showcase now. Keep a lookout. Banana something. It's going to be good. See you later. Bye.